All right, friends, we are back here on the baseline. This is the drill and kind of review of our stroke for lesson three. All we're doing here, again, we're adding a little bit of length to all of the different pieces. So I'm gonna make that backswing, right? If I'm level one, sorry, level, lesson, same thing. If I'm lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, right? A little bit more, kind of, if you notice, I'll load my back leg up a little bit more, right? If I don't have my racket at all, I'm, I'm lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. It's not a huge difference, but there's a little bit more weighting of that back leg. Don't really worry about that too much now, but if it makes sense to you, go with it. Okay, same thing with the follow through. Lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. And again, that follow through is just a little bit longer. My weight transfer is gonna be a little bit bigger, which means the step, step's gonna be a little bit bigger. My strings, probably gonna be a little bit more open but that's gonna depend on my swing, right? If I open them too much, that ball's gonna go straight up into the air and that's not gonna do us a whole lot of good, right? So tinker with that string position and how it relates with your swing pass, right? Swing path, excuse me, right? If I've got straight open strings and I swing up, right? But if I swing out with those strings, it's gonna be a different result. So tinker with the string, uh, string position and the swing path and how they relate to each other. The other thing you guys might notice is that the follow through might start coming around, start coming across a little bit because I can only reach out so far, right? So if I'm here at some point, there's gonna be a natural progression to come around my body and that's okay. That will happen as our level progresses eventually. I mean, at some point we're gonna be all the way around here or even up, out and around. So we'll get there. We're just not quite there yet. Okay, you guys, so the drill is exactly the same as it was in lesson one and lesson two. We're just aiming for a target. I've got a bucket. You can get them at Home Depot for a couple of bucks. Um, you can use a rock. You can use a piece of chalk and write a little X on the court. Whatever you guys want to do, put, put a shirt out there, a bag out there, another tennis ball. But find yourselves a target and then work on trying to hit shots that will land within six or seven feet of that target, okay? Now, we're further back, so it's a little bit more difficult to get that ball into that six or seven foot space, but again, that's what we really need to be able to do is to be able to control our shots so that we can rally and enjoy this game a little bit more. Think about this, if you're dropping the ball out of your hand and we can't control the ball, right? So I have absolute control. If I'm standing here, I drop that ball I'm in total control of that shot, right? When somebody's hitting the ball back to me, it's gonna be significantly more difficult. So if I'm struggling to just drop and hit, how do you think I'm gonna do when I'm actually having to chase the ball down, use my footwork, move and position, right? So think about that, be really comfortable with this stuff and then start worrying about whether or not you're rallying well with another person. Let's hit a couple. Okay, again, for comparison, we'll do level one very small. My strings are actually going to stay pretty much the same for most of these, um, except that last one. Level two is just a little bit bigger with a little bit more step. And then level three is going to be here and here. Now I actually, I launched that ball a little higher than I wanted, so I'm going to close those strings just a little bit, okay? So now, right, and what you should notice is everything just gets a little bit longer. I'm not swinging really any harder. I'm not trying to add any pace to the ball. Okay, you can watch my other video that talks about why power is stupid. Um, but it's just a question of getting things a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, and adding a little bit of height to that ball. We'll also discuss in another video why height is way more important than power. Okay, so let's try it. Let's see if I can hit a couple targets here. Okay, didn't get it, but I got close. That's what I was looking for. Now, if you guys noticed, I kind of started up and then down and then forwards. And that's okay. We actually, that, that's a fine thing. I don't care how you get to here as long as you get to here, right? If you go down and up, that's fine. If you go up and down and up, that's fine too. As long as you don't go up and then straight that's not gonna work, okay? We have to start below the ball and finish above the ball, okay? Let's do a couple more just to see the difference. So if I'm here, I drop and go up, right? For me, that doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very comfortable. I'm a little bit kind of stiff on that. So I actually take that little bit of a loop 
to create some momentum and some movement into that swing. We'll cover the loop in a totally different lesson. Again, if it's comfortable now, go with it. If it's not, don't worry about it. Again, all we care is low to high. I don't care how you get there, all right? But this is the one with the loop. A little bit of a loop, up and through, okay? Small loop, up and through. And again, it's just helping me kind of build a rhythm into that swing, which is important and will become more important as we develop. Get out here, try this stuff. Once you guys have gone through this drill, you're hitting your six or seven out of 10. If you've got the backhands already, you guys are good to go, okay? So get out there, play, rally, find a partner, find a friend, somebody to hit with, against, whatever you wanna do, let me know how it goes. I'm really, really curious to see where you guys started, where you got to, what the kind of hiccups and, and, the, and the good pieces were along the way. And I'm actually kind of curious to see how long this has taken anybody. So if you were able to say, hey, I did this in you know, a week and a half, I went out three times and I was good, um, cool. If you said it took me six months, that's cool too. Let's talk about it and work on this stuff together. Um, you know, you guys remember the whole idea is that I'm here to be your teaching pro. You gotta let me know what works and what doesn't work what you guys want to see and don't want to see, okay? So get out there and practice. I love you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.